So I've been talking for a while about doing a video on top coating. I know it's been a minute and hadn't had a chance to get to it, but I have this piece I did for my home. I've already done some coats. I'm gonna do the final coat and I'm gonna go over it with you guys. So what are you gonna need? To start, you're gonna need whatever top coat you're gonna use. For this, we're gonna use Wise Owl's Matte Varnish. This was a whole Wise Owl project and I'll have final picks coming very soon, so you'll be able to see those. You'll probably see the final picks before this video because I think I'm gonna have Maddie do her editing magic with it and put some clips together or something, I don't know. And then you're gonna need foot socks. Just generic foot socks that you use to put try on shoes at the shoe store, that's it. Get them on Amazon, easy peasy. And then the Sherline Handy Painter, which if you follow me for a while, you know it's, this is kind of how I do my thing with the top coating, but I'm gonna show you how today. So you get this guy here, right? And it just has this, the, the sponge and then the bristles. And the bristles are the pain in the butt part and that's why we got these. But this works really well. And then tacks, multi kind of use thing in my studio. I always have tacks for drawer glides. You can tack to glide the drawers on or what I'm about to use it for now. So, and then of course, I, if you followed me at all, seen any of my FPU videos, I always do the paper towel with aluminum foil or paper plate with aluminum foil. Multiple reasons. I mean, paper plates are not that expensive, but the varnish will stick to it after a while when it starts drying. So you want something there that will keep it moving, right? And you can all throw the paper plate away. You just throw away the aluminum foil, you know, just one of those things. And like I said, I found when I first started doing it, even though the paper plates are cheap, the varnish would start to stick or poly or whatever kind of top coating I'm using would stick, which is not what I wanted when I'm trying to eat you know, go over a bigger project, especially. So that's kind of what you need. I got it all laid out here. I got my little thing full of the varnish over here that I'm gonna, I was gonna use, but I don't think it's flat enough on the bottom for me to get it all out. So I'm gonna go back to my paper plate. So I'm gonna just pour it into that. So that's basically what you're gonna need. I'm gonna stop and go um, with these videos so Maddie can do her editing magic. And then the next step is basically just going to be me doing it. And I'm going to show you how really easy it is. And the key is to not overwork your varnish. Ultimately, you're just going to lay it down and walk away. And with the tools that I use, it makes it easy to do that because it has a little handle to it. And it has a wide flat area just to kind of go whoosh and then stop and walk away. And that's the hard part is walking away. You want to keep playing with it and touching it and you're thinking, oh, there's a spot here, a spot there. No, you don't want to play with it. And then of course, if you probably saw a little sponge brush, you want to have handy for the drips and stuff around the corners and edges. But I'll show you that here in a second. So, so that's it for right now. Next will be the actual application. And of course, you know, we'll see how Maddie does with her magic in between see what she does. I don't know. Okay, so before we get to the application, what the heck do we do with the foot socks, right? Had a couple people ask about that before, like how, what's the whole plan? So basically just take your handy painter, you're gonna take your foot socks, you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna slide it on and over. And it's stretchy so you can pull it over the edge and then leave this funky knotted part up out of the way so you just have this now you're saying to yourself why am i doing this mark well you want it to be a sponge kind of surface which it basically is but it has some bristles well the bristles will fall out morning you now if you use this technique it will fall out so you're not going to want to do it without something to cover up the bristle part so this is what i do so and i usually use three these foot socks are super cheap they're throwaway kind of thing, so when you're done, you just peel it off this bad boy and then you just throw them away. The handy painter is, uh, obviously if you're using a water-based, you just rinse it out with hot water and it's reusable. I use these probably 10 to 12 times before they start getting where they're no good anymore. So it's definitely another one of those um, money saver kind of things where they'll last a little while, I guess is the point. 
we're gonna slide this one on. Okay, so I got three on there now, right? Now the friction from dragging it across the surface will pull this off. So that's why you got the tacks. And what's cool about these painting painters is it's styrofoam. So you can just take your little tack and just tack it right in there, just like that. And it's just gonna hold it in place. And you could do it all the way around. I'll probably do four, one on each side, one on each end. And it's just like I said, the friction from you pulling the varnish, especially once it starts to, to dry, which it does fast, um, will want to pull this thing off of here, which you don't want. I've had it happen before. It, it got pulled off and then bristles came out, the whole thing. It was back when I first started trying to use this way. And you learn after a while, little things like that that you gotta fix. I started with one foot sock, had bristles come out, two, had some come out, three, you might find one or two in there, but I think it's worth it for how this is the ease, the ease, ease, ease <laughs> something like that, of use to actually apply the stuff on there. So, you know, that's basically it. So you're gonna put three on there, throw some tacks to hold it in place, and voila, you got your little magical poly varnish applier thingy, my bobber, whatever you wanna call it. Okay. So that's all there is to it. So now we're going to go on to our next step, which is going to be the actual application of it. I'm going to do a little pause, let Maddie do her magic, and see what she does with this in a little inter, intermission in between. Everybody having a good day? I know. All right, I'm a dork, I know. I was just like trying to, how, how do I end the last video? I don't even know. I just staring at myself in the camera, I guess. But anyways, here's the Sherline Handy, Handy Painter with our foot socks, our tacks, all ready to go, right? So over here, I got my paper plate with my sponge brush and the varnish sitting there ready to go. So here's my big old surface. And this is always a stressor for people, like how do I do a big surface? Here we go. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. It's not even gonna take, it's gonna take me less time to do this video than the other two. So we're gonna dip it in, submerge it down in there pretty good, get a good amount on there. I'm gonna get it close so I don't drip all over my floor. But the barn is just a little thick, so it shouldn't drip too bad. But you're just gonna get it submerged in there real good. Okay? I'm gonna try not to drip on my way over. All right, there we go. And wop out. This is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get it on here. You can go side to side, however you gotta do it, but you gotta do it quick. Whatever you do, do it quick. Come back over here, get a little more for the other end. And again, quick, because the varnish, especially the wise owl, will dry fast. So you wanna get it on, get it completely covered. And once you got it completely covered is when we're gonna do the actual specific fluid motion thing, okay? So we're just getting it on. You wanna look down it, make sure there's no dry spots. There's one right there. You don't want any dry spots before you start doing the, the last step, okay? Okay, there we go, I got it on, right? Okay, so now you start one end and nice, smooth, fluid motion. Come all the way down, all the way to the edge. And you're gonna repeat this. You're gonna overlap your last bit Just like that, overlap your last bit. Nice, even stroke all the way across. Overlap your last bit, nice, even all the way across. One more time on the end, nice, even all the way across. Not going too fast. And then I'm gonna give it one little look, see, looks like I missed this side the edge so hopefully it's not drying already i'm gonna look down there i think that looks pretty good i'm gonna go one last time and even I'm, I'm going against my own rules right here okay that's it I walk away like even if i had the urge to come back over this last part and i think i'm good because it's still a little wet but you don't want to go over it too much. I'd say twice, and that's it. That's where you want to stop at. And the basic thing to that is it's going to dry. 
it's going to stick, it's going to pull, and you're going to have the streaks stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. I've done this before. It sticks and it's a hot mess. And then you got to go over it again or sand it down and the whole thing. So let gravity do its work. It will. Any poly or varnish I've used, it will do its job. Gravity will pull it. It will flatten it at least to a point where if you feel like you need to sand it, the sanding is a quick 220 or you know something where you're just kind of hitting bumps or something, not like actual long streaks of you know globbed upness, whatever the word is. So and you will see it's just going to kind of even and flatten. I have a lot of brush strokes in this because I did this really blended dry brushed thing to this piece which you all see when I do the, the finished pictures. So you'll see a lot of my brush strokes from the paint, but this is where it's going to kind of flatten and even out. And that's all there is to it. Um, I had a lot of people ask, how do I do it? Because you see the tops of the things that I've done and it seems like it's completely like glass or something like that. I can promise you it's not. It's great camera work. Um, they're not all glass, perfect, no streaks, no nothing in it. But if you can minimize it the best you can, then utilize a technique like this where you're, you have a good flat surface, which is ultimately what this is for, flat wide surface where you can control the entire area. Because I've seen people use sponges and the sponges, it's not, it's not flat. It, you, you know, you grab it and I've done that. I've used a sponge before, but for smaller areas, you grab it and it, it's pliable, it moves. It's not like a strong flat surface like this is. That styrofoam holds it flat and allows you to go all the way over. And you see, I only had to make, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six passes over the whole thing because I have a, a large flat surface. So, so anyways, that's how I do it, folks. I mean, it's not, not anything too crazy hard and fairly inexpensive. You know, the foot socks for the whole box, you know, was pretty cheap. I got on Amazon, the Sureline handy painter things you can get at basically any store. Matter of fact, I just saw some really cool ones at Walmart last night that had a different unique shape thing. They weren't the Sureline ones, they were just the Walmart brand, I guess. But the same exact concept, flat sponge with a brush on top. You cover that with your foot socks and you can see, you know, did pretty well. Didn't move, all the tacks held it in place. And then I got this really nice flat surface. And the only thing I'm seeing coming through that I can tell right now, because this is drying already, is my brush strokes. So, and then when I have the final pictures in the album, you guys will be able to see a little bit more specifically what the actual top looks like from a, a uh, photographic standpoint. But, but that's it. I had a lot of people ask. I know I kind of put it off. My apologies. It's been crazy with moving all that stuff, but finally was able to get it done and uh, get this piece done too, because I need to get this downstairs so we have a place to put our TV. So, but anyways, hope you guys who asked were happy with that. If there's any questions, I'm pretty sure this is going to go to YouTube and then shared to my Facebook page. If there's any questions when I share it to my Facebook page, of course, drop comments, whatever, whatever. And hopefully I'll start doing more videos like this now that I'm starting to get settled here in Illinois where I can just walk through some steps of, you know, things that people have questions about that have had questions about. And it's just trial and error. Things that I've learned, you know, reading videos, research, you know, all the different things. That, and I've pulled it, put it together myself and decided, okay, this was the best way for me based on the processes that I use and the way I do my painting. It might not be your process. It might not be the best process. I mean, there might be something better out there. And if there is, I mean, feel free to share with me and share with everybody else on my page. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm enjoying with the Facebook environment. And then now adding some stuff to YouTube is the ability to learn, maybe make some mistakes like I'm doing with the woodworking thing. Um, and learn from my mistakes and then share those with people who are, are, are new learning and, you know, maybe don't want to go through those, those trial and errors, you know, maybe they're wanting to start a business. Maybe they're just wanting to do something nice for their house and they don't want to mess it up. 
So that's what I'm enjoying the most is just sharing. As you guys see on my page a lot, sharing is caring, right? So I like sharing the information, sharing the products I'm finding. I find a lot of really good ones. More are coming um, for me to be able to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, just let me know if there's something else you guys want to see. And I'll see if I can put it together. Um, Maddie's not here, so it's just me today. So I'm going to sign off all by myself. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. And as always, happy, happy painting. painting.